Hello everybody, John Couture back here again with another video and today I'm here to talk about all things Jurassic Park and of course I'm giving you my official Jurassic World movie review. Now of course, uh, unfortunately because of my inter lack of internet connection I was incapable of releasing this review a lot earlier than, than I would have liked it to be and I actually was able to see this movie earlier than expected. I was able to see an early screening or showing, if you will, prior to the the actual release of the movie, which was pretty awesome. I'm just saying, being in a theater full of Jurassic Park fans and, you know, little kids who get to see dinosaurs for the first time and, you know, freaking tons of people with Jurassic Park theme park um, t-shirt on. It's a pretty badass moment in, I guess, theater viewing history. But that being said, Jurassic World is the fourth installment of the franchise and of course I'm just gonna sit here and give you my personal thoughts on it overall and of course if you've not seen it which I'm sure a lot of you have already but if you haven't this review may contain spoilers so please check it out then come back but that being said uh, Jurassic World is the fourth film in the Jurassic Park franchise and it's been in development hell for freaking a decade and it's finally here and I think it's pretty awesome that Universal finally sat down and was like you know what we need to put out this movie immediately and it's finally here and it's pretty badass on how you know successful this movie has been doing as of late I mean when I first did my review on this when I first saw it I didn't really see this movie as being as the biggest movie of the year. I mean, for me personally, I had expectations, but not super high expectations. And this movie really surpassed them and forward, especially when it came to the critical re reception of the film and especially the box office success this movie has made. I mean, this movie broke records. I mean, this film made more money than the Avengers and Harry Potter combined. And those are like the two biggest movie franchise money-making machines of movie-making history. And Jurassic World beat them. I don't know how the hell in a world where we live in where the Marvel franchise is the biggest franchise of the year next to Star Wars, that Jurassic World, a, that's a sequel to a pre-existing franchise that's probably, I want to say, like on the same level of popularity and obscurity as like Terminator, made this much money. I mean, it's so insane. I never thought in a million years that, no pun intended, but I never thought that Jurassic World would make this much money and make this much of a mark it's freaking insane but that being said um uh, Jurassic World of course stars Chris Pratt Bryce Dallas Howard and of course Vincent D'Onofrio and of course uh, the movie centers around uh, several years after the, the events of the first film and of course it's all about this uh, super billionaire uh, CEO of Jurassic World who plans on creating a new dinosaur for the kids to enjoy because you know what kids are disrespectful douchebag little bastards who fucking can't appreciate the fact that they have real dinosaurs in front of them there's a theme park that's bigger than Disneyland and it has real dinosaurs hopefully in the future we can have something like that but right now we have to watch movies which sucks but still pretty awesome at the same time but that being said they want something new so you know what uh uh, just genetic scientists create a new dinosaur hybrid, which of course in this movie is titled the, of course, uh, the Indominus Rex, which, um, over the course of the movie you find out is a cross, crossover of the, uh, T-Rex and the Velociraptor, which of course are the two iconic and uh, main dinosaur antagonist of the franchise and this is a mixture hybrid of the two and it's a super powerful you know, intelligent, you know, killing machine that's bent on destruction and torment. And essentially, over the course of the movie, the dinosaur gets uh, gets broken free, wreaks havoc over the park, and of course, dinosaurs escape, you know, cages, you know, you know Jurassic Park franchise, you know, the second the dinosaurs get out of their fucking realm of, of, nat of fucking cages and fucking, they start moving around and doing their own thing, shit goes down, shit hits the fan, we're all doomed. That's essentially the, the next, you know, second and third act of the film itself, and everything else is just pretty badass uh, that goes along with it. But that being said, the movie is, of course, also led by the badass himself, Chris Pratt. Now, I've had multiple discussions about Chris Pratt, his presence on screen, the future of his uh, his filmography, if you will, his career, at, um, rather, and, of course, uh, what this means for future franchises. And to be honest, Chris Pratt, he's kind of like, I like to consider him, he's like the new 
Dwayne Johnson in in terms of like how he can take a whatever movie and make it ten times better and make it way more money. I mean like I mean just look at it. I mean he was in the Lego movie. No one thought that was gonna be good. It was one of the best animated movies of the year. You had fucking Guardians of the Galaxy, no one thought that was gonna be a good comic book movie. It was hands down the definitive comic book movie ever. And now you have Jurassic World, a sequel to a pre existing franchise that no one thought would be awesome, and it made more money than the Avengers and Harry Potter combined. I mean that says a lot to an actor's ego, which I hope he doesn't have. But that being said, Chris Pratt kills it in this movie. He's so bad. He's basically a superhero in this movie he fucking does crazy awesome shit and he's a badass at the same time and I, I I've heard multiple people discuss this and I actually uh, really thought about it very hard when I did my first review and especially when I was watching the film because every single moment that Chris Pratt's on screen in Jurassic World he's not a Jurassic Park character Keep this in, in perspective. He's not a Jurassic World character. He's Indiana Jones in the Jurassic Park franchise. That's what Chris Pratt is. He's so freaking indie, it's laughable. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm saying that in a good way. Because me and Evil Scar 23, I want to say it was the last podcast or whatever. Or one of the commentaries that we did that you more than likely hear on his channel in, in later this month. We were discussing Chris Pratt's future and whether or not he can be... Uh, leading his own franchise uh, f further down the road, especially a big one like the Indiana Jones franchise. And we already know that Lucasfilm and Disney plan on making more indie movies in the future, like Star Wars. And a lot of people have been discussing as to who can replace Hans, um, Han Solo, who can replace Harrison Ford as the protagonist himself, Indy. And a lot of people have been rumoring that Chris Pratt could be in the running to do that. And after watching this movie, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you have thought this, I say fuck yes. This guy has fucking awesome charisma. He fucking is a great actor. He has great uh, presence on screen. He's freaking a badass. I mean, like he's Indiana Jones. Th I mean, like if you took if you took away the dinosaurs and put like some kind of ancient relic, you know, replaced it and freaking gave him the hat, the leather jacket, and the freaking whip. He's Indiana Jones. That was Chris Pratt was basically doing an Indiana Jones impression in this movie, but his own spin, of course. It was just so amazing to watch. And whoever is writing the new one, uh, which of course I'm pretty sure is already in, already in development as we speak, I'm pretty sure. I say Chris Pratt has to be the new indie. I know a lot of people, a lot of hardcore Ford fans are going to be like, "No, Ford has to do it forever." That's not going to happen. I mean, like it's inevitable that. You know, the franchise will continue to go on and, and he will be replaced, kind of like how they did with Mad Max. So, And Tom Hardy, I think, did a great job. So if Chris Pratt can do the same thing that Tom Hardy did with the Mad Max franchise, I'm all for him doing the new Indiana Jones. That's just me. Let me know what you personally think in the comments below. But moving off of that, we also have Bryce Dallas Howard in this film, and she also kills it. She's essentially like the, you know, the co-business owner slash, you know, um operations manager she's essentially the 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 c the the manager of the entire park and she you know takes care of everything and overall she fucking kills it in this film i mean bryce dallas howard i've been a fan of for years now and i i still to this day feel like she doesn't get the the, the great roles that she deserves nor does she get the great um reception that she deserves and i think that's a huge you know dishonor to her performances because she does badass movies and great performances and it's also really good to see her in Jurassic World in a good fucking pre-exist sequel to a pre-existing franchise that does well because she's done that in the past I mean she was in Spider-Man 3 and we know how that ended she was in Terminator Salvation and we, we already know what that what happened with that. I mean, like, the best thing that happened with Salvation was fucking Christian Bale, you know, meltdown on set. That was the best thing that happened with that movie. Everything else is shit. But with Jurassic World, it's so fucking good. And it's so, you know, apart from the pre-existing French, the pre-sequels that we've gotten from the Jurassic Park movies, that it's almost its own thing, but still within the same realm of the story arcs we've gotten before. That I feel like if there is a future with this franchise and this specific movie, and Bryce Dallas Howard's a part of it, I'm all for it. I fucking loved her in this movie. She was awesome. She was funny. She was entertaining. She was fucking, you know, she, it was, it, you know, she was the character you love to hate at times. She was just all around awesome. And of course, 
with a lot of char uh, actors in this movie. Uh, a lot of them get overshadowed by Chris Pratt's awesomeness. But at the end of the day, I think uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, who plays, if you will, spoilers, the relationship love interest in the movie, if you will, she did a fucking phenomenal job. And of course, at the end of the day, you already know me. I love, you, you know how much I love my redheads. But that being said, moving off of that, you also have Vincent D'Onofrio, the kingpin himself. And he's so freaking badass. I mean, like, after watching Marvel's Daredevil, I'd fucking watch whatever D'Onofrio's in. He's so freaking good. He's definitely, like Chris Pratt, he's definitely on a rise as of now in his career. And he's been killing it, so. And he plays, if you will, with the exception of the dinosaurs, I guess the main antagonist of this movie. And his basic story arc is essentially to, I guess, take the control dinosaurs and use them as like a special task force to i guess take down terrorists or whatever i don't know but that's his major goal he wants to control dinosaurs for his own advantage and of course that ends terribly for him because we already know it's the jurassic park franchise big dinosaurs with big teeth people die that's what happens but that being said vincent d'onofrio freaking awesome but at the end of the day this movie was freaking amazing watch i mean i had zero ex i mean i had little expectations but not super high ones and this one definitely surpassed it i mean like it's a sequel but it's a freaking good sequel it, i mean like at the end of the day i i feel it's even it's even better than avengers and that's really hard to, for me to put it in words because you know like when i first did my first review i freaking thought it was not as good as the Avengers, but now that I've had this huge time to think about it and look at it in retrospect, it's way more entertaining than Avengers, and that's saying a lot, especially with the movie that has the Vision and Scarlet Witch in it, and I love those characters. But this movie freaking is awesome. It's so freaking entertaining. It's fun. It's it's lighthearted. It's fucking. It's for kids and and parents. It's also for the hardcore horror fans. It's it's just really freaking. It's a dominant force to be reckoned with. I mean, just look at that freaking box office return. I mean, freaking so much money. I mean, like, if they don't make sequels out of this, I mean, like, what are you going to do with that money, Universal? I mean, are you going to put that into your fucking horror cinematic universe? I don't know, but at the end of the day, I would be, and I'm pretty sure a lot of us, would be highly surprised if they don't start making sequels to Jurassic World after seeing how much money this shit made. So, at the end of the day... I loved it. I give it an 8 out of 10. It was so freaking awesome. It was entertaining. Uh, you got really nice references to the prior movies, uh, other than the fact that uh, not a lot of characters come back from the prior movies, with the exception of B.D. Wong. I think he's the only uh, character from a prior Jurassic Park movie that came on. I would have liked it if they brought in Malcolm or whoever to, you know, to just come back for at least a good snippet, but I, I guess it was alright to get the, 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 the references in and of itself, but at the end of the day, hopefully we do that with, you know, future movies. Maybe we can have a Jurassic Park cinematic universe. Anyone? I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, cinematic universes is like the new cool thing to do with movies, so, and you you already know that Universal's doing it with their horror franchise, so we'll see what happens with Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World, rather. But that being said, I love this movie, it was freaking awesome, it was phenomenal, uh, the, 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 the hybrid Indominus Rex was awesome, and Chris Pratt was freaking amazing to watch, Bryce Dallas Howard was phenomenal to, to look at, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio was freaking awesome as always. The dinosaur effects were pretty interesting. I mean, even though I'm not really big on the fact that they went a little too over CGI in comparison to prior movies, I still like the fact that they tried to at least incorporate some kind of animatronics with some of the dinosaurs, which is hard to tell sometimes in this movie because of the oversaturation of CGI. But at the end of the day, I think it was a nice little tiny blend overall. Um, the effects, however, were pretty badass in, at the end of the day. Uh, the music was pretty awesome. I love that they incorporated the John Williams score because, you know, when it comes to sequels, they, they could have just created their own score, but I think it was awesome to bring back the John Williams score because that's, like, along with many Williams scores, it's iconic, just like the E.T. and Superman one, so it's just nice to get it back. Uh, but uh, And at the end of the day, uh, this movie is just hands down it has to go on the list of like one of the top five best movies of the year it's just so freaking phenomenal it's so freaking badass and entertaining and i i really hope they do sequels it's just really good and i really also hope that bryce dallas howard returns and i also extraordinarily hope that chris pratt becomes the new indiana jones i'm just saying 
He needs he needs to do it. He needs to be the new Jones. I mean, I'm just he needs to be the new Indy. But that being said, of course, uh, if I had to nitpick and put out something that I really wasn't big on, number one, I wasn't really big on how they incorporated the T-Rex and Velociraptors in this movie. Granted, we already knew that the Velociraptors were going to be, I guess, quote unquote. Uh, good guys, if you will, because they were a part of Chris Pratt's character's uh, wolf pack, if you will, um, which, going into the movie, I knew was going to be stupid, but after watching it, I, I liked it, but um, it, I'm still not big on it. I still feel like the Velociraptors should be the main antagonist. I'm just saying, after watching Jurassic Park, and you saw that great, amazing movie where... Um, you saw the Velociraptors just go crazy and start killing everybody. That's what I like to see. In this movie, they're basically good guys. They're basically gray wolves. You know, you know that's essentially what they are. They are they're not Velociraptors. They're wolves, uh, which is not particularly a bad thing. But I'm not really big on uh, on it uh, as of yet. And also the T Rex. Uh, after seeing Jurassic Park three, you were hoping that the T Rex would redeem himself, and he kind of does. That does at the end, although they you know, use a lot of dinosaurs at the end of the day to help kill this one Indominus Rex. But um, the T-Rex was also pretty badass to see. It was just, it, it kind of felt like that Godzilla moment when you went in to see Godzilla. Spoilers, when Godzilla does his, his energy cannon out of his mouth. It was kind of, it felt like that moment when you finally get to see the T-Rex in action. Like, everyone went crazy and it was an amazing moment. I would have liked if you did a little bit more of that with the T-Rex. I'm just saying, I know the T-Rex are crazy creatures that cannot be controlled and shit, but, god damn, I just want to see that T-Rex just destroy and kick ass, and we didn't get a lot of it, but, um, I still appreciate the fact that they tried to do it, hopefully in the sequels they co incorporate the T-Rex as the main threat of the movie, you know, kind of how they did with the original. Also, as, like, a little nitpicky kind of thing that I wasn't really big on when it came to this movie, is the fact that, and I don't know if anybody else kind of felt this, is that doesn't Jurassic World also kind of feel like for me, anyways, when I look at it in perspective, Jurassic World kind of feels like one big, giant fan film, you know? It kind of felt like the writers and director was like, God, we're such big fans of Jurassic Park, and, whenever, and when we were kids, we just, we wanted to see, like, like super, like this super powerful hybrid, and these this dude who can fucking control dinosaurs and velociraptors instead of being bad guys who are good guys, and, you know, and, and the park was open, and kids could actually see, the, you know, that's what Jurassic World kind of feels like to me. But at the end of the day, that's pretty much my overall thoughts um if i had to compare this with the prior movies um jurassic park uh i said this before and i'll say it, uh, again in time time and time again it's the definitive dinosaur movie i don't see any kind of future um dinosaur movie ever topping the jurassic park the original will always be the definitive dinosaur movie that's just my personal opinion maybe in the future when they actual clone actually you know scientists legitimately start cloning dinosaurs and shit and putting them in movies maybe that will be better but uh, as of right now, I don't see any kind of dinosaur movie in, in the future that could ever top Jurassic Park. It's just so freaking good. Um, when it comes to the sequels, Jurassic World definitely tops. Uh, it's It takes the cake. It definitely tops them all. Um, as a fan of the Jurassic Park franchise, I have to say that Jurassic World is definitely better than the third one. But I don't know if I would go as far as saying it's better than Lost World. As much as I think Jurassic World... Uh, Jurassic World tops Lost World when it comes to production, acting performances, uh, and writing and, and overall of effects. I still like Lost World a little bit better. I guess it's because of the age I saw it in and, and the experience I had watching it in theaters and what have you. I don't know. I just like Lost World a little bit more. I, I, that's just me. But overall, Jurassic World does take the t does take the cake when it comes to the sequels, and it's an amazing movie that you definitely should check out, and it definitely would be on my list of, you know, top five movies of the year of 2015, but overall, I loved it, Chris Pratt kills it, Bryce Dallas Howard kills it, everyone in this movie in general kills it, a very enjoyable movie, hope you guys enjoyed us, in the comments below, let me know what you personally thought about Jurassic World, what you think about Chris Pratt's performance, Bryce Dallas Howard's performance, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio's performance, the new dinosaurs, what did you think about the Indominus Rex, um, how did you feel uh, him being the new threat in the dinosaur franchise, uh, what did you think about the box office return of the movies, uh, also let me know what you personally think about Chris Pratt being the new Indiana Jones, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, comment below, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already, and I hope you guys enjoyed, this has been Josh12.